guys welcome back to the channel so today i'm taking you through my entire maintenance package and just showing you what it looks like from start to finish of my maintenance details this is a service i was not offering previously to this year and i am really excited to talk about it and at the end i'm going to go over some pros and cons of these maintenance details talk about some of your points your pros and cons and yeah let you decide for yourself if there's something that you want to add to your packages Real quick though, before I get into this video, so for the last six to eight months, like time flies by, I've actually been coaching women specifically to launch, market, and grow their mobile service-based businesses. I worked with women in the notary industry, in the detailing industry, in the home decor industry, organization, house cleaning, to launch, market, and grow their own businesses. A lot of you don't know much about my actual history. I'm not 20 something, I'm actually 39. I have a lot of experience in marketing, customer service and sales. And that is what I have worked for the last 15 years in. This business was just like a random fun project for me to start and it has grown and become really successful. And I've become a top rated mobile detailer here in my area, Northeastern Connecticut. I decided to take everything that I work with women on and just deliver it to all my like detailers here. I created a course that literally walks you through every single question you can possibly have when it comes to actually launching, marketing, and growing a service-based business. This is not a detail course. This is not a how do I detail, what products do I use. Um, I tell you all of that here on this channel. So this course is very specific when it comes to like legal foundations of your business, permits, accounting, bookkeeping, marketing, branding, how to build a website, where to build a website, what technology to use, how to use Google My Business, how to hack the algorithm to get higher up in rankings, how to get more reviews, how to get more referrals. These are the things that actually grow your business. Anywho, Guys, that course is finally out and launched. I have been working so hard on it and it's finally launched, available, and it comes with support because I would never just sell you a course. Courses are useless without support because questions are gonna arise. So there is support included in that course and you have lifetime access to it. So I just wanted to share that with you. If you have any interest, it's in the description here. You can see the link, you can get all the information, but I just wanted to offer that to you guys because I know there's so many people struggling to actually grow their business or they want to start a business and have no idea where to begin. All right guys, let's get into today's video. Good morning guys, welcome back to Detail with Jess. Today I am heading off to a maintenance detail and thought I would take you through the entire process of that and talk about the pros and cons of doing maintenance packages. I have, and I have from day one, I have my entire business set up so my clients book their own appointments. So it's really sweet, I just, check my calendar, see who's on the schedule for the day, and I show up. And it's been so easy. I love it, I wouldn't have it any other way. And this is a repeat client. She, This is her third detail. She started off with one deluxe detail. I require all of my clients that are getting maintenance details to first have their deep detail done because not every detailer details the same. And <laughs> I wanna make sure that when I'm heading into my maintenance details, it is like deep, deep, deep cleaned the way that I clean. So all of my maintenance details are required to first get a deep and deluxe detail by me. And this one is just on interior maintenance. I have an interior maintenance. I have an interior and exterior maintenance on a monthly basis. And then I have the bi-monthly interior, bi-monthly interior, exterior. So those are my packages. So a lot of times when I arrive, I will text the client, but the client was outside today. So we just got to chatting for a bit while she was cleaning out some of her items from the car. And then I started pulling out all of my stuff that I'm going to be using for this detail. Pianna Swift, that's that right there. That's one of the biggest products that I use in my maintenance details because it cleans and it leaves a little bit of a shine, especially if I'm coming back month after month. It's a great product. So I've got all my extension cords, my vacuum, and my air compressor all ready to roll for this vehicle. So this is the car that I am doing. It is a Volkswagen. So we're gonna pull all the mats out and power wash those and just kind of pick up some random things and I'll put those in a bag in a quick minute, but start pulling the mats out. 
pretty much I just have to air compress everything and I do a quick wipe down of everything and it's a pretty quick detail about an hour ish she does have a baby so a two-year-old so the back seats tend to get a bit dirty but it's just kind of to be expected that's a little bit much I might have to bust out the steamer for uh for that I don't stress about these things they're really quick cleanups not a big deal just uh, gotta pull out an extra tool. And then the back is not too bad. Pretty much just air compress all of this out. So I wanna get this mess cleaned up. This is baby food and I'm gonna use an all-purpose cleaner. I was thinking I might need the steamer, but I'm gonna try the all-purpose cleaner, see how that works and turns out it's working really well. And just using a toothbrush for a little bit of agitation and especially to get down into the seatbelt crevice there. I'm gonna get these floor mats power washed and cleaned up real quick. They're not too dirty, but they do just need a quick drill brush. So I'm just using Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner here and giving them a quick drill brush. And then I'm gonna take the air compressor and just blow off the excess water. And that way, while I'm doing the rest of the detail, these can dry while I'm doing that. Next up is air compression. I know this client tends to have their dog in their car often, so I tend to do a bit of air compression before I do anything else in vehicles like this. It just kind of loosens everything up, blows everything out, and it leaves me with a minimal amount to have to actually vacuum up at the end. So in my details, especially my maintenance, I tend to air compress and vacuum at the same time and do everything in one step. I will leave the vacuum cleaner out because I am incredibly particular. So when I'm absolutely done with everything, I might do a real quick vacuum at the very end. So in the front seats, I'm able to just use the PNS so before Swift, I vacuum, and that's gonna on clean the seats side, and leave them with a really I just nice finish. Clean all this up but here in the back seats, because there's a lot of food, a lot of crumbs, down, baby floor, food, like so all of that, I'm going to actually clean them with the Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner, and I'm gonna make sure I get into those crevices with the toothbrush. That really, with the liquid and the agitation, it really lifts things out, and then I'm gonna go through, I'll wipe it down real quick, and then I'll air compress those crumbs back onto the floor, and that's what I'll have to clean up at the very end. I'm obsessed with this little dental pick because it gets so many crumbs that are really difficult to get out, out. But a lot of people say, why don't you just wait to vacuum till the end? I don't like to. Like, I can't do it. I don't like it. It tends to just be messier and more difficult to clean. And then there always ends up being something left on the floor that I'm really particular about and need to clean up. So I prefer to do a quick vacuuming early on in the detail and then do a final vacuuming really, really super quick at the end of my details and it's what leaves my vehicles super pristine you won't find a single hair a single dot of sand or food or anything and that's the way i like to do it i will be honest there are some extra spills in this maintenance cleanup but you know what that's why she keeps coming back because she wants the nice car month after month and it doesn't really take all that long to get these things cleaned up even if it takes an extra 30 seconds so i don't stress about these things i'm just going to spray some all-purpose cleaner onto that and just give it a little scrub Other than those few little spills, the rest of this car is typically really clean. So it just requires a really quick cleanup. I do like to use an all-purpose cleaner and actually really clean everything and then go through and dress everything. And just using the detail brush, a quick little bit of Meguiar's uh, all-purpose cleaner, and then wipe it down real quick, give it a quick air compression, gets all those crevices nice and clean and blows everything out. And like I said, this is why I do the final vacuum because the things that I blow out here and this detail will end up being on the floor at some point.
In my mid-grade and higher-grade detail packages, I will go through and put all of those items that are in the center consoles into bags to actually clean out the center console, but in this case, I am not because it is a maintenance. I would love to hear what your thoughts are, but my thoughts are that if the client didn't clean it out, they probably don't care too much about it being cleaned. And like I said, that's just in my maintenance details. I wouldn't do that in my higher price details. It is summertime, so there are some areas that have some sunscreen, like on the doors and where the arms typically sit on the armrest, and then there are some body oils. So those areas, I'm making sure to go through and thoroughly clean those with the Meguiar's All-Purpose Cleaner, but all the other areas are getting cleaned up with the PNS Swift. This detail today is definitely taking longer than it typically would. There's some extra messes. But the detail starts off in the trunk area and then I do the entire passenger side. So now I'm moving on to the entire driver side and doing the same exact process all over again. It saves so much time if you just do one side at a time versus doing the entire back and then moving on to the entire front. So one side, because that's where all your tools are, that's where everything is, you don't have to move things back and forth, saves a bunch of time. Something I didn't do when I first started detailing, but now that is what I do. And again, in a normal maintenance detail, I would not be going crazy over cleaning the seats like this, but um, this detail, this car had you know, all those baby spills, all that food, all the crumbs. So I'm making sure to give it a really good cleaning. This client rarely ever uses the third row in this vehicle. So in the third row, it is already super clean, especially from when I originally did the deluxe detail on this. So I go through with the PNS Swift and really just wipe everything down. And the PNS Swift works really great on these seats as well. They're not leather, they're the kind of like leather seats and the product comes out really good and the seats look really good with this product. When it comes to these maintenance packages, I do live in a pretty rural spread out area. Um, it's called the quiet corner of Connecticut. So there are people spread out all over the place. Most of my clients are 30 minutes away, but with these packages in order to make the most of my time and my resources, I will only offer these packages within a 10 mile radius. I talk all about creating and pricing your packages within the detailer's mobile business blueprint. And it really is very dependent on the type of detail you're offering, the type of service you're offering, um, how much you want to make, what your goals are. So when it comes to pricing your details, I think that is a really important key to put into play. You want to definitely be in comparison, like a comparable price to those surrounding you, but what you choose to accept is also based upon your goals and your financial goals and your timely resources. So these details for me, I absolutely love them. For me to make $90 to $100 or $170 within two hours, I love it. I didn't wipe the plastics down in the back yet, so I'm going to go through with PNS Swift and wipe those down really quick, and then I'm going to move into the front driver's side seat. No, I didn't vacuum this yet, so this is kind of the last and final step here, is just doing this last quarter of the vehicle. Mm -hmm. 
And now since these door jams are clean because I have done this vehicle before, I'm just gonna go through with the ONR and wipe down all the door jams. Then I'm gonna go through and clean all of the windows real quick. Luckily, they're nice and clean because I just did them last month. So that's a really quick process. All right, we are done. So this is how everything is looking now without the floor mats. Have not put the floor mats back in. But we are looking primo. Everything is looking as good as new. Seats are all cleaned up. Door jams are all cleaned. Windows are all cleaned. Now I'm just going to go grab the floor mats and put those in and we're done. Floor mats are all cleaned up. Go throw these in the car. Now my full details, I would dress these mats in these maintenance details. I do not dress the mats. All right. We are looking good. Okay, now that I'm done with the detail, I am going to go grab my card reader because this client always pays credit card. Then I'll text her and let her know I'm ready. So that way I'm ready and prepared for payment. While I'm waiting for her to come out, I'm going to start cleaning up and be on my way. That did take a hair longer than anticipated and scheduled. So two hours in total from arrival to leaving the driveway. But the reason being is that the first 15 minutes she didn't have the vehicle cleaned out. So I was just kind of waiting. And then... uh filming definitely took an extra couple minutes so all in all I would say it was an hour and just a hair over an hour and a half of an actual detail and uh part of that wait where am I going where am I going I'm having a total brain first where I am um but yeah there was those excess spills that uh there always seems to be something but it's fine but took a few more minutes than a normal maintenance would have taken. But cost-wise, that is a $90 detail. So hour and a half, $90, not tremendous amount of work, totally worth it. Let's talk pros and cons of maintenance details because y'all have commented your thoughts earlier on one of my videos and let's address some of those comments. Some of you have said that maintenance plans, maintenance packages are a must. They're like guaranteed money. They were your money makers. You've got to have them. And some of you have said you hate maintenance details. You hate them. You're like people destroy their vehicles and they just take too long. So here are my thoughts on that. Um, as far as having maintenance packages, I didn't have them last year. So this was my very first year offering a maintenance service. I was just unsure of them. Based upon everybody's advice, I was like, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it this year. So back in March, I created all of my packages, really thought about the cost and how I wanted to offer them, what I wanted to offer them. Some of my my clients tip. So that 90 bucks gets turned into $120 or $110. And it's a really good profit for a really short amount of time. My goal is always to make at least $50 an hour in my details. And a majority of the time I'm making 62 to a hundred dollars an hour with tips included. I think they're so good and they've added in at least a minimum of like $600 a month in addition um, to my normal revenues. I don't have a lot of maintenance clients. There's very few clients that I have that I will offer this service to. I think I only have one, two, three, four, maybe five to five or six maintenance clients that I offer maintenance packages to. As far as the messes go, uh, if there were extra tar or what have you, it's not a big deal. Like it, it really doesn't take that much extra time to make it not worth it. So even those spills, they may have taken me an extra 15 minutes today, 
but the profits that I made in that short amount of time are still so worth it. Thank you guys so much for hanging with me on today's detail. And if you are interested in starting, launching, growing your own mobile detailing business, or you need some help getting clients, be sure to click the link in the description to see what the detailers mobile business blueprint is all about. I think you're going to love it. And I have priced it at the cost of a detail. So it's not crazy. If you like this video, be sure to like subscribe and I will see you guys next time.